Hello, Rick Comeric, Certified Financial Planner here, bringing you an article I loaded to my blog titled, It's Time to Get Serious About Tax Planning. Historical data coupled with proposed legislation are pointing towards tax increases. Learn what you can do to help reduce your future tax liabilities and protect the longevity of your retirement income. As Americans, it's our duty to pay taxes. Taxes help afford much of what makes this country great. However, it's not our duty to overpay them. And for those entering and in retirement, when preserving and protecting every penny becomes a priority, this is especially important. While we may not be able to predict the future, we can learn from our past and discover new opportunities for navigating the ever evolving complex tax rules and regulations so that we may extend our wealth longevity and provide income for what we need and want in retirement. History shows us that taxes will most likely increase. In the US, we have observed a correlation between national public debt to gross domestic product or GDP as a leading indicator of tax increases. The reason for this correlation is that higher debt to GDP ratio implies that as a country, we are less likely to pay back our debt. And one of the ways to help reduce this risk is to increase taxes so that these debts may be eliminated. Figure 1-1 illustrates the fluctuation of our debt to GDP from 1930 to 2021 and the correlating highest marginal tax rate, which is in the red line. Understanding the escalated pace at which our national debt has grown, what is particularly interesting about our recent debt to GDP history is that in 2007, pre-Great Recession, the U.S. national debt reached $8 trillion with the highest marginal tax rate at 35%. Today, we are experiencing unprecedented debt levels at $28 trillion and growing. This is a 250% increase in debt generated in only 15 years. It is no surprise that this uptick uptick in spending is causing many Americans to anticipate tax increases to follow. The path of proposed tax legislation. To build upon the concern of future tax increases, it is important to examine pending legislation. President Biden and his administration recently proposed the following changes to tax rules and regulations that could potentially affect those in or approaching retirement in a significant way, especially if they are affluent capital gains increases. Individual filers earning 400,000 and married couples with 450,000 in income will experience a capital gains tax increase to 25%, a potentially five to 10% increase from 2021, depending on their 2021 income levels and filing status. Highest marginal tax rate increases. The top individual tax rate will increase by 2.6 percentage points, making the new top individual income tax bracket 39.6% plus a 3% surcharge will be imposed on individual incomes above 5 million. New Roth conversion limitations based on income level. Roth conversions in individual retirement accounts and 401k type plans will be repealed for those earning more than 400,000 a year. Roth and traditional IRA contribution limits imposed. Individuals will be prohibited from making more contributions to their Roth IRA or traditional IRA if the total value of their combined IRA and defined contribution plans exceed 10 million. Elimination of backdoor Roth strategy. Individuals will no longer be able to convert a workplace plan such as a 401k to an IRA and then convert it to a Roth or to a Roth directly to bypass the Roth income limitations. Elimination of the back, mega backdoor Roth strategy. Individuals, regardless of income level, will not be able to make after-tax contributions to their workplace retirement plans. Required minimum distributions mandated for mega IRAs. Individuals whose combined IRAs and defined contribution plans exceed 10 million at year's end will have to withdraw at least 50% of the excess funds the following year. This applies to individuals with more than 400,000 of taxable income, 450,000 of married for married taxpayers and 425,000 for heads of household. Capital gains taxation at death or gift. Currently, when someone dies, heirs of an asset that appreciated in value will not pay capital gains tax on that unrealized appreciation. New tax proposals would like to make the unrealized capital gains taxable at death or when the asset is transferred by gifting. This proposal also includes a $1 million tax exemption for unrealized appreciation for single persons, $2 million for married couple, plus the $500,000 $500, per capital capital gain exemption for a primary residence. Estate tax exemption would sunset in 2021 instead of 2025. 
Americans may also experience a reduction in the estate tax exemption this year, only allowing up to 5 million of an estate to be passed onto heirs tax-free compared to the current 11.7 million allowance. For estates valued above 5 million, there is potentially a 40% federal estate tax. Our debt and tax history coupled with proposed legislation make tax, tax, excuse me, tax risk a real concern for many Americans. However, with this obstacle comes opportunity to take a proactive approach today to reduce future tax liabilities of tomorrow. Working to reduce future tax, tax risk, say that five times fast. Many Americans will owe some form of tax in retirement. Taxable income sources can include social security, pension, individual retirement accounts, and or 401k income tax, as well as other accounts where capital gains and dividends are taxed. This can equate to 15, 20, or even 30 years of future tax liabilities while you're no longer earning an income. This is tax, tax risk. Tax risk can work against you in retirement in three different ways. Tax increases. If taxes go up when you are in retirement, it is likely that your tax bill will increase too, meaning you could have less money for the things you need and want in retirement. Reduced tax deductions. Traditionally, tax deductions are also reduced in retirement, meaning there are fewer ways to minimize what taxes are owed. Common deductions that are lost in retirement when you're no longer working include those associated with 401k or traditional IRA contributions. Also, in most cases, retirees can no longer claim any dependents. Lastly, if your home is paid off, then there is a loss of the mortgage interest deduction as well. Higher than expected tax bracket. In retirement, many of us will spend time doing the things we love while maintaining or enhancing our existing lifestyle. This can mean spending more money. In this instance, there is a good chance that the income you will need to withdraw could keep you in the same or higher income tax bracket and therefore owe more taxes. How tax diversification strategies can help lower tax risk. Now that we have a better understanding of the probability of heightened tax risk from historical data and proposed legislation, let's seek to understand how we can potentially lower this risk through tax diversification strategies. Tax diversification refers to the strategic allocation of assets among multiples um, investment accounts with varying taxation, tax now, tax later, and tax-free accounts. When reviewing these strategies, it's important to recognize to what degree tax risk could affect future retirement income. Tax now strategies. Tax now strategies include accounts where income is taxed on any earnings, capital gains and dividends received each year in non-qualified accounts. Examples of these financial vehicles include savings, checking, certificates of deposit, CDs, stocks, corporate bonds, mutual funds. Tax now strategies provide minimal tax risk reduction as the account owner is subject to tax each year earnings are received. If taxes increase over time, then there is a likeliness that so will your tax obligation. Tax later strategies. Tax later strategies can be considered a traditional approach that allows the account owner to defer taxes today, but then requires them to pay taxes on the entire withdraw amount withdrawn in the future. Tax later account types include the following, traditional IRA, SEP IRA, simple IRA, 401k, 403b, pensions, qualified annuities, and savings bonds. Tax later vehicles can be an ideal diversification strategy for those earning an income and wanting to offset their present tax obligation. However, if you are concerned about tax rate increases while in retirement, it may make sense to consider planning strategies that will allow you to transfer assets so that you may lock in today's tax rates for some of your retirement income sources. Tax-free strategies. Lastly are the tax-free diversification strategies. These strategies can help the account owner to accumulate earnings tax-deferred, income tax-free, and penalty-free. Tax-free account type examples include Roth annuities, Roth IRAs, universal life insurance with a uh, cash accumulation feature, municipal bonds, and 529 plans. Tax-free diversification strategies are ideal for those who are concerned about increases in tax rates and or potentially finding themselves in a higher tax bracket in retirement. Additionally, if you are already maximizing your traditional retirement savings vehicles, tax-free strategies can help you bolster your savings while reducing your tax risk on future retirement income. The tax-free strategy that can help reduce your tax risk. 
tax diversification focus, Roth IRAs. Named after the late Senator of Delaware and Chief Legislator William Roth, the Roth IRA was established as part of the Taxpayer Relief Act of 1997, Public Law 105-34. Roth's original goal was to restore the traditional IRA that had been repealed in 1986. However, due to the upfront tax deductions of the traditional IRA, Roth needed help uh, uh, needed to help offset the government's immediate tax loss by offering an after-tax dollar vehicle. Enter the Roth IRA. Since its inception 24 years ago, more than 63 million Americans own a Roth IRA, and an additional 30 million own both a Roth IRA and traditional IRA. There are several key benefits that make Roth IRAs so appealing to retirement savers, including tax-free growth and distributions. The most widely known benefit of a Roth IRA is that funds invested inside this vehicle grow and are distributed tax-free. This is an important benefit if the individual believes their income tax rate could be higher in retirement as taxes are due at the time contributions are made, meaning paying the known tax rate of today as opposed to the unknown rates of tomorrow. No required minimum distributions, RMD. Roth IRAs are also RMD free. Unlike a traditional IRA or qualified retirement plan, account owners are not required to take minimum distributions at a certain age in retirement. This provides additional flexibility when withdrawing retirement income, including avoiding taking withdrawals during unfavorable market conditions. Tax-free inheritance. Unlike the tax-deferred accounts, such as 401k, traditional IRA, once inherited, Roth IRA beneficiaries avoid taxes on distributions as they were paid up front. Contribution withdrawals at any time without penalty. A lesser known feature of the Roth IRA is that the account owner may withdraw contributions at any point. However, any investment earnings withdrawn will trigger taxes and penalties. Also, monies withdrawn cannot be paid back into the account later. While Roth IRAs can be a very attractive tax diversification strategy for many retirement savings, Savers, a stipulation with this investment vehicle is that not everyone is eligible to save directly to a Roth IRA due to income restrictions. In 2021, if your modified adjusted gross income, MAGI, is over 208,000 married filing jointly or over 140,000 filing single, you are ineligible to contribute to a Roth IRA. However, when Congress lifted the 100,000 MAGI income restriction on Roth conversions in 2010, tax-free growth and distributions became a possibility for higher income earners through backdoor Roth conversions, a popular tax diversification strategy. Saying goodbye to the backdoor Roth conversion, under current law, an individual is permitted to use a backdoor Roth IRA strategy that allows them to either make an annual contribution to a traditional IRA and then convert those savings to a Roth IRA, convert any portion of an existing traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, or rollover pre-tax assets from a qualified retirement plan, plan, such as 401k, directly to a Roth IRA, allowing them to bypass the income restrictions. The account owner must pay taxes on the conversion amount. However, they will benefit from tax-free growth and distributions in the years to come. As previously mentioned, President Biden and the House Ways and Means Committee is proposing to eliminate this backdoor loophole altogether, meaning a potentially shorter lifespan of the Roth backdoor conversion opportunity. The good news is that retirement state savers still have time to take advantage of this tax diversification strategy before the tax proposal moves forward in Congress. Should you consider a Roth IRA conversion? Roth conversions are typically a tax diversification strategy worth considering if you own a qualified retirement plan with pre-tax savings, such as a 401k, like the idea of your investments growing tax-free, believe your tax bracket will be higher in retirement, would like to offset your taxable income in retirement, have the money to afford the taxes on the total conversion amount, want to avoid mandatory RMDs in retirement, would like to gift your beneficiaries a tax-free inheritance. Be sure to work with a qualified financial professional who can help you determine if a Roth conversion is suitable tax diversification strategy for you. They can help you with the conversion process and provide appropriate tax planning guidance as it pertains to your specific situation. Other Roth funded vehicles for additional needs. An important thing to consider when planning for retirement income is not only the tax risk that your life savings may be exposed to, but other potential risks as well, such as longevity risk, outliving your money in retirement due to increased lifespan, 
Inflation risk, loss of purchasing power over time. Volatility risk, asset allocation leaves your retirement assets overexposed. And survivorship risk, failure to plan for the surviving spouse of dependents or dependents. If you find that Roth conversion is right for you, however, you are concerned about one or more of the above risks, it is possible to roll your tax-free assets into a vehicle like a fixed indexed annuity, which will work to protect the income from the things you need in retirement and help you maximize the income for the things you want in retirement by providing the following guaranteed income for life to help you protect against longevity risk, investment growth through an index that can help offset inflation risk, downside protection so that your principal is safe from the market loss, and then tax-free inheritance for your beneficiaries. It's important to consult a qualified financial professional who can walk you through other Roth-funded vehicles to see if this strategy is suitable for your personal situation. And of course, I have my contact info up there if you would like to uh, talk to me about this or anything that pertains to your personal financial plan, feel free to reach out to me anytime.